Now, a sit-in is being held in Hong Kong to mark two months since an attack by pro-Beijing vigilantes on protesters and commuters left 45 people in hospital. Earlier today, police fired tear gas on anti-government protesters when a rally in the district of Tuen Mun turned violent. Thousands marched from Tuen Mun Park to the government offices there in a demonstration that had been approved by police. The march was initially called in response to pro-Beijing protesters tearing down colourful anti-government posters known as Lenin Walls after John Lennon. It's the 16th consecutive weekend of protests in Hong Kong. This is the moment the protesters threw Molotov cocktails at riot police. You can then see the police firing tear gas in response in an attempt to disperse them. Here are the riot police arresting protesters. The police have previously been criticised, of course, for their heavy-handed approach. And here's a barricade that was set on fire by protesters earlier. Well, our correspondent Stephen McDonald is in Hong Kong. Today's rally was cleared. That is, they had official permission to march. And yet, again, it's turned into one of these street battles. This week, a senior police officer told us that they are stretched to the absolute limit. They say they're handling this crisis, but if there was to be a greater escalation, the only way they could deal with it would be to eat into other areas of their police work. As the police detain protesters, there's a lot of attention from the local media. This is especially the case given the Amnesty International report that was released a few days ago, accusing the police of excessive force. Now, this is something that the officers here deny. But given that, when they apprehend people, the media are on them. After being cleared out of other areas, protesters have come here to Yuan Long to mark two months since triad connected gangs ambushed activists and using homemade weapons bashed them in the train station. Now they've accused some police officers of colluding with those gangs. They've also accused some pro-Beijing politicians of being linked to the underworld. This is why they want an independent inquiry, which is one of their key demands. And you can hear them calling out now. Five demands, not one less.